we all have uh, a personal mission that drives us and mine was really to help others. Occupational therapy drew me in because, you know, again, you know, you're directly helping people so, um, and you're helping them to restore function. With OT, it also um, allowed me to uh, utilize some of my creative side too. You're looking at each situation, you know, each disability um, or diagnosis that a patient has and trying to figure out um, you know, how to apply the right skill set to make that person, you know, more functional and more independent. When I was looking at programs, you know, you know, back in the 80s, you know, there were some schools that had occupational therapy, but they might not have offered nursing or physical therapy or anything like that, too. So um, going to a large university where you had not only just about every uh, health profession, you know, from physician to nursing to OTPT, um, but also uh, business and other folks, it gave me the opportunity to really um, be surrounded with uh, diversity. The faculty were fabulous. And the things that I remembered most were um, the broad breadth of experience that they brought to, to their job. Being exposed to people who um, were uh, well experienced, uh, I think really kind of uh, lit that fire in me to say that, well, you know, I'm going to do more than just occupational therapy and, um, you know, and I wanted to pursue leadership positions too. Now, honestly, I have three kids and I would hope that all three of them choose to go to Temple like I did, but uh, uh, I'm hoping that at least one or two of them will.